Generically named computer assistant, what is the current temperature? Right now, it's 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, it's Rob, and I'm a sucker for punishment, so I am out here in the backyard. I have uh, received my hopefully last shipment of plants, other than one which is coming as a replacement for one that died in the last shipment. I want to try and repot these and get them stuck out front. I've got uh, seven, like seven jalapenos, and then uh, four more reapers, some uh, Trinidad scorpions, and some ghost peppers. Uh, I do have some ghost peppers already. I mean, these are these are not exotics by any means. They're uh, they're hot peppers, but uh, I want to try and put them in pots. And I got some new pots that I want to try. They're these. I think these are the two gallon. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. It says 105 ST. So you know, it's a, it's a it's a 105 ST. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but I th these might just be the one gallon. I am not entirely sure, but I think they are big enough for maintaining the root system of a pretty healthily growing pepper plant. And I'm going to try. Uh, you know, this is my first time really doing a large pepper grow in pots. So we'll see how it works out. This is my soil mixing system. I have a concrete mixer that I put the dirt and whatever else in and I mix it around for a while, make sure that it's pretty thoroughly mixed up and then I can dump it in the wheel barrel, the wheelbarrow and put it into the pots. I know that sounds exciting, doesn't it? That's enough for a pretty decent start on these pots. Um, I don't want to take all the soil out of this because I might have more that I'm going to be doing, but I'm just, uh, when I'm done with it, I'll end up putting it back in here uh, until I can get a large, you know, five gallon pail to be able to store it in. One that's got a nice convenient lid uh, that isn't cracked. I made that mistake. What I want to do with these is fill them up to within about four inches of the top, maybe a little bit deeper than that. couple shovelfuls, uh, give it a nice bottom, a little bit more, I'm going to pack this down just a little bit, not a lot, uh, to give it a base for the plants to sit on. So I'm going to do this with the first eight. Already some little plants growing in here. This is the easiest way I've found of doing transplants into pots. Uh, first of all, we take the plant that we are transplanting. Uh, these are, I got from Bonnie plants, which are pretty good. You want to break up the soil a little bit, tease the roots out, get them so that they are, uh, you know, kind of running around in the, in the, uh, soil a little bit looser and then just pile in dirt around the outside. It's so much easier than trying to dig a hole in what was you know in soil that you put in a pot. I like to fill these not quite up to the top uh, and make a sort of a moat, a little depressive moat around the roots like that keeping the stem and the edges up. It helps to you know, sluice the water in a little bit, although it's not that important. And, of course, keep the stakes in so that I know what the, what the peppers are, because until they start sprouting peppers, it's really difficult to tell. Sometimes they don't want to come out very well. Oh, look at the roots on this one. That's lovely. You know, by doing this, you're going to do some damage to the roots, but they will grow back very well. 
I like to keep these pots uh, that the plants came in because they're still in pretty good shape and I can use these for sprouting seeds for next year. I am going to need to get more soil because I still have 15 more of these to go. 16 if you in include the one that's coming. Alright, this is what I've got so far for plants in pots. Uh, got these growing in here. Uh, now there is one thing that I don't really like about, well, a couple things I don't particularly like. I do have some growing in in these which have had surprisingly good results over the past few years. It's kind of amazing that they don't need nearly as much soil as you think they do. Although these go down into the dirt. I mean, they, they grow roots down into the soil, so they get plenty. Uh, but these guys, I have to weed. And that's okay, it's not a lot. But, you know, it's enough of a pain in the butt, because I do have a lot, of, a lot of pots growing here. And then, of course, there is the, uh, the in-ground garden. Now, I'm using this, uh, this house wrap as... Oh, look at the ants. I am using this house wrap as a uh, weed block, and it's uh, more weatherproof than the normal weed block that you see over there. But... Uh, it really cuts down on the weeding. Uh, there's some stuff that will grow under there, Creeping Charlie in particular. But, uh, you know, I've got quite a few plants in here. And they are doing quite okay. Now, one of the nice things is I set up this uh, water irrigation system with the soaker hoses. And that has done remarkably well in keeping these guys watered. Uh, right now I've got it, I think, dialed into about... 30 minutes once a day and there are four zones and they all run at different times so it's not oversaturating all the soil at one time it's kind of spreading the love I am going to have to do some more weeding in the you know on the periphery and some of that but uh, this is I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet uh, ideally this would go into the territory of uh, whole house air conditioner, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So I might end up moving, creating a mulch pile back here, a compost pile. Because right now, these are my compost bins. Uh, it's all leaves and organic material. I mean, the tea bags are, tea bags are all biodegradable, so they will eventually degrade down the little metal, uh, staples in there are steel and they will degrade into iron which is actually fairly good for plants it's not in huge huge levels so it's not going to be toxic at all uh, these guys these tall boys are something else um, I got these from uh, frostbite peppers and he grew them he started them really early I think around uh, Super Bowl weekend I think is when he said he started them so they got a pretty good head start, and uh, they seem to be doing okay. I was a little worried that they might have some issues because they're so tall, but they seem to be standing up for themselves pretty well. Yeah, I know there's traffic noise. There's not much I can do about it because there are cars on the road. Uh, I've got 15 more, 16 technically, to put in pots. I'm not going to do it today because I am out of soil to put in the pots. I'm going to have to go to the hardware store tomorrow. They're closed already. It's a little later in the evening, so, you know, a little cooler, which is nice. But I'm going to try and do those tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, and see if I can get all of them planted. One of the nice things about growing in pots is that as the plants grow bigger, I can move them, and I can give them more space, and I can rotate them around in different areas so that they can get more or less sun as needed. Uh, I don't know, this is my first year doing anything quite this big, so we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do the other ones tomorrow. I'm not going to do them tonight because it's still pretty freaking hot, and I'm tired. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.